right now, enterprise software does a terrible job of solving need to have but not competitively differentiated uh, application domains. So for instance, if I'm a manufacturer, I can afford to spend a ton of money to optimize my factories, but I can't necessarily spend millions of dollars on software to manage my field service force. I need a field service force, and I need to manage their time, but I can't go blow $5 million on it. So a SaaS type vendor who can set me up in a month and I can pay for it as I use it is a great model, and it solves an unmet need. So each of those generations you talked about, application service providers, packaged software, um, even time sharing way back when solved some of the problem, and SaaS will solve a little bit more. Mm. But it won't finish the industry's problem, which is a good thing, because when an industry solved all its problems, that industry isn't needed anymore. Well, I, I don't know about that necessarily, John. I think what the ASP model gave us was the pricing and subscription model. Um, and that is now obviously prevalent in the SaaS model. I, and I, I also support your argument that, that innovation between ASP and SaaS is in the technology. We now have the technology that can run multi-tenant applications, that can run on a certain scale, that can run with a certain security to deliver those applications back to the business. So multi-tenant, so that's, that's great if I'm a vendor because I'm getting economies of scale and putting a lot of applications on one server and it costs me less. Is there a benefit to the client uh, be from this new version yeah, of... Steve, those should be passed back to the customer. Right. It benefit, be. Yeah, benefits to them. I'm, I'm going to disagree to with you. You said you said uh, technology is is the difference between ASP and and the SaaS services we see today. And I disagree. I think it's the domain expertise. Yeah. The person running the SaaS the service today knows all about your business, whereas the ASP does not. That's why ASPs in most cases fail. They also had no absolutely no integration capabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, the SaaS is predicated on, on having very, the success of SaaS is predicated on having very strong integration capabilities. And, and I would argue, I think we're in agreement, I would argue also that SaaS is more of an extension of the enterprise software industry than the ASP because the focus is how successful you are at SaaS depends on the quality of your service offering, which comes from your subject matter expertise. And you need good operations, but it's not surprising that many SaaS vendors are actually using ASPs. I mean, you can, you can get that kind of commodity expertise out there, but it is that subject matter expertise that makes the difference. Yeah, I, I, you know, I emphasize the technology. I think, I think the reality is, is that the mix of the service offering is dictated by people, processes, and the technology. And each of those three components are very important in building a SaaS model. If you're simply hosting software, on, on dedicated hardware, that is something customers could do for themselves at scale. And that's why the most important and most widely used software in an enterprise, eventually, there will probably be a cost advantage to running that in-house, if you're going to scale that to the heights. Okay. SaaS gets the economies of scale by servicing many customers on one platform. So we achieve economies of scale in messaging or forms delivery across multiple customers. So no single customer can scale as high as we can. So this sounds like a fundamental change in a way for the software industry in that for the past 20 years for the most part, a lot of these software vendors have been chasing end of quarter results, trying to push big license deals, throw the software license over to the wall to the customer, hey, if they want help, we'll charge them some outrageous professional services fees or we'll get them hooked up with some offshore people. But essentially, all the risk has been on the customer side to make the uh, implementation successful, to deliver the value. Um, but it sounds like now we're moving to a model where the vendors are a lot more accountable and have to deliver the full solution experience and really more of a services model. Have we gotten to a point where the software industry itself is at the level of maturity that it's really become more of a services industry than a product industry as some of the other manufacturing sectors and product oriented sectors are? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think we've gotten to that point yet where you can say that for the majority of companies, but certainly what excites me about SaaS is SaaS providers, um, they're involved in the business are the innovators in this industry. And they're the ones being chased by SAP, Microsoft, Oracle. Um, and they are innovating and I think permanently transform the way this industry, this industry runs.